Carl Reiner's talent was to make the people around him funnier. He made his mark on Sid Caesar's variety show as a straight man with a serious funny bone. That's not spaghetti, sir. That's spaghetti. <laughs> his time with Caesar became the basis of his creation, the Dick Van Dyke Show, where he played the blowhard boss. Alan, if you're going to have lunch and get to that meeting, you better get going. Shut up, Mel. <laughs> what are you doing to my chair? But it was another Mel who changed his career. Brooks was an up-and-coming comedian. One day, Reiner fed him a question that would inspire a hit record. Here is a man who was actually at the scene of the crucifixion 2,000 years ago. Isn't that true, sir? And first words out of Mel was, oh boy. Yeah, oh boy, it was terrible. Do you know Jesus? He says, yeah, it came in the store. And even though they've rehearsed this act and they've polished it, there are moments where Brooks starts to lean in a direction and, Car and Reiner sees it and goes with it. Yeah. And you can feel the joy. Later, Reiner moved behind the scenes harnessing the manic talents of Steve Martin in a series of successful films. More recently, Reiner had a recurring role in the Ocean's Eleven heist movies. So you're going to tell me, or should I just say no and get it over with? Their boss. Comedian Sean Collins says Reiner comes from a generation that put the laughs first. It never was about, oh, how smart that Carl Reiner is. He's, a, he's so insightful. I don't think he ever worried about that. And... I believe that the, it takes someone incredibly intelligent to be that stupid, to do that kind of stupid silliness and own it, you know. Even in their 90s, the silliness between Mel Brooks and Reiner continued. They met nightly to eat, watch movies, and kibitz. It was just last Sunday Reiner's manager shared a photo of the always outspoken Reiner with his daughter and Mel. Today, Brooks echoed the sentiments of many of Reiner's friends, calling him a giant, who will be greatly missed. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.